Today we have to add a few holes to 20 250kW inverters. These inverters are not on right now and we'll have them all locked out. But we have to drill one or two holes in the top of each one of these to add some control cables for uh, some programming. The tops of these inverters are two layers of eighth inch steel question is what is the best cutting tool so as you can see underneath we have electronics and electrical equipment the last thing we want to do is drop shavings into these so we'll be drilling with a vacuum and you can see we have a container taped to the underside to catch anything that might uh, fly out so let's have a look at our cutting tools Inverter 4B locked out. magic pencil box. Okay, let's examine the many ways that we could go about drilling holes. First of all, we all know what this is, drill bits and a KO punch. But remember, we have almost a quarter inch of steel, so we all know that's not going to work. Now we have the old reliable metal hole saw. And anybody that's used these enough is going to know that you'll be lucky to get one hole out of that before you burn it up. So probably also not a good option. Another option is the step bit. Um, and it will work, it will drill the hole, but uh, understand we'll be working off of ladders and those do make a lot of shavings and keeping three points of contact on a ladder while death grip on the drill motor with two hands um, is something to consider. Another option, the drill with the PNR bit and preferably a drill with a clutch so that if this hangs up it's not going to twist your wrist too hard but once again you've got a drill um, that's got quite a little bit of power and uh, you're on top of a ladder or you're on a rung of a ladder trying to drill there may be a safer way now let's explore the impact wrench the impact wrench has an impact rated hole saw on it and if anybody has used an impact wrench, you know it does not put a twisting force on your arm while drilling. In fact, it won't even hang up. The impact itself will just release and it will impact its way through. And we've used these very successfully, especially on these heavy steel enclosures. Let's uh, watch a hole being drilled with the impact wrench.
one layer. So I think there are a lot of choices when it comes to drilling holes like that. But the option of using the impact wrench may be the safest because it doesn't put any twist on your arm. It took about two minutes as he started drilling to drill the hole. Um, it was done safely and without risk injury. Uh, that's it. Impact rated hole saw for a DeWalt impact wrench.